Hey, hey, welcome to another fresh game. In the last one we recorded, we saw how I could not be a weight, a detriment to a team and kind of let them carry me through the early game so fresh can reach late game. But in this game, the opposite is going to happen. Some of my team aren't going to be doing so well, but I'm going to show you how fresh does have carry potential. And this is largely used as the item in the title, Rapid Fire Cannon being so strong on him. Now, why is it so strong on him? Well, That's because... AD Fresh has always been a thing. However... It's never always... been able to be a strong thing. And the reason for this is because he has such short range. I believe it's 450 now. It used to be 475, but they nerfed it at some point. Like, years ago. Now, the 200% damage ratio on his E, you know, that's basically triple damage on a hit. You get 100% AD as physical damage, as every basic attack does, then you get 200% of your AD as additional magic damage. That's tr triple damage. You know, not counting in any kind of um, magic resist or armor there. Minions have spawned. So, obviously, the problem with it is his range. It was abs It's so short that if you go to try to poke with that, you could get instantly taken down. You know, the AD carry can trade with you, the mage can poke you, maybe the tank will just full-on initiate you and end your life. Um, but now with Rapid Fire Cannon, your range will go up to 600 and you'll get a bit of bonus magic damage on that first attack as well. So, you can do it from a much safer distance, you can snipe off a carry just like that with that triple damage. And it recharges not too slowly anyway, so really strong. Anyway, getting on to the game now, we're up against a Wukong in lane. Now, normally I'd be quite worried about a Wukong, but there's no real problems here. The reason I'd be worried is because, well, Fresh has really low armor, and if Wukong gets a combo off and just walks away, then boom, he's outtraded you, you can't really do much about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Still a little bit on. As you can see there, I really wanted that, um, wanted that soul, so I went in and took a bit of damage. The main thing to notice is that I flayed him away. He has Thunderlords as well. I've got Thunderlords too because it's season six. Uh, he did not get Thunderlords. See, again, I flay him away. He doesn't get the third attack on, so he can't use Thunderlords on me. I did get Thunderlords on him when we traded, and that's how I managed to actually win the trade. So anyway, I've got range, so I just want to keep farming. Maybe I'll lay some harass sometimes, but the main focus is to farm. Don't get too absorbed in harassing your enemy. Like, as strong as Fresh's auto attacks may be when charged up, do not overuse them. To be fair, harass and poke does not matter unless you're actually getting killed. Now, I managed to try to sweep him onto my turret here, but once again, I... Well, actually, I think he did get Thunderlords off there. Let's check. Yes, he did get Thunderlords off there. And I'm still ahead because he ended up taking a lot of minion damage when he went in on me. I tried to get him under my tower to give him a bit of a bad time, but I couldn't make the distance, it was too far. So the one thing you got to be looking out for in lane phase, whether it's mid or top fresh, even support, is opportunities to take them under your tower. Too many players have been underestimating it. Yes, even when I was in like higher elo ranked games, it's... I say higher elo, I've never actually been to platinum. Don't unsubscribe, dudes. Come on, I'm going to be there at some point. But, um... A lot of players will very much underestimate the distance Fresh and carry you... I mean, sorry. Not carry, but drag you towards his own tower. And keep you there. When he has the box, you know, you're going to be 99% slowed. You're not going to be able to get out of that tower. If you flash, then Fresh can chase you down. Um... And you see it... <sighs> That's a bad example. I was going to commentate on it as a good example, but it was a bad example because I missed CS there. I tried to harass Wukong when he went for a minion. That's what you should do so he can't really hit back without using a skill. But because I missed a minion, it ends up being pretty bad, actually. So just like last game, I started Cull. The reason is because I really like the sustain it has. I like how if you get the full 400G from it, from the passive, and then sell it, you get a profit. And, um... I think the difference on Fresh between Doran's Blade and uh, Cull is so minuscule, you might as well take the bonus gold. There's no point sitting on a Doran's Blade. The life steal's not going to do very much long term, since you're much more focused on magic damage, rapid fire cannon. You do buy um, 
the F sword, it doesn't actually mean that much in the long run in terms of, you know, gaining from lifesteal. I might have went on a bit of a tangent. Anyway, the, um, Undyne comes over here to try to kill me here. The lesbian fish. They can't do shit. They don't have red buff. They don't have anything. They can't chase me. They'd have to burn flash to chase me. It wouldn't even do anything. They didn't even get my flash. I just flayed them away, walk away, because Wukong, you know, he's got too many minions here under his turret. He's too low health. He doesn't want to do anything. That's why I can just confidently walk away. I could have probably dueled uh, Fizz. And um, even if Wukong comes over, you know, there's not much he can do. Anyway, let's go back and see that again because I wanted to commentate about how awesome I am. So um, I go in the bush here. He doesn't know I'm there. He can't see me. But you see, right in between these two minions. No, in between these minion waves. For some reason, he chooses to laugh and then he, he pays the freaking price. Yeah, that was a like fully charged auto attack on Fresh. This is only like a level three flay so far, so it's like 120% damage of AD or something like that, and that's what you get. You know, flay, uh, death sentence, and Thunderlords. That was all the damage I had, and I managed to kill him. Fresh's early game damage is actually pretty damn strong. It's not very sustained yet, but it's pretty strong. It's you know a small burst combined with that kind of utility. I flay that minion there, and I think I miss a soul, probably because I'm. I didn't need to fear Wukong here. I could have probably went and grabbed that soul. I thought he was level 6 or something. Anyway, we're going back to get the first bite, which is BF Sword. And a Cloth Armor, because I'm scared of Wukong. I don't want to lose this lead, so Cloth Armor helps me because, you know, Wukong, I don't think he has any magic damage, so I reduce most of the damage. I can sustain in lane, I can farm as much as I need to, and BF Sword will help me kick his ass entirely. Now, it's important that you go BF Sword, and you do not rush Rapid Fire Cannon. Rapid Fire Cannon gains more value the more AD you're actually projecting with the extra range. Because you get that 200% AD stuff, Rapid Fire Cannon only really matters then when you have some AD to amplify that. You want to be sending off a massive payload over a decent range as just this magnificent nuking poke. It's a bit of a one-trick pony, but it's a quite consistent one-trick pony. Actually, it isn't a one-trick pony at all. What am I talking about? Fresh has got tons of utility. He's got tons of sustained damage when you get souls, a bit of attack speed, and he's a tank as well, with a lantern. Anyway, Wukong goes uh, mid. And unfortunately, my friend here, Akali, thought that they could kill uh, Yasuo here, but the flow shield saved Yasuo from a tower shot, and it they fall. As you can see, I've said that this game doesn't actually go too well for the rest of my lane. As you can see, Varus and Fiddlesticks support. You know, they've already died... Uh, Twice, Vayne's son gonna get fed. Vayne's gonna get very fed in the late game. Akali's, uh, you know, died to Yasuo here. Wukong got an assist. Uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I just walked over for some reason. I think I was trying to spot Wukong. Yeah, I was trying to wait for Wukong and just kick his ass there, but he didn't come in. And Wukong, I think he will try to go in on me there, so I think I'm gonna back it up a little bit because I don't want to get into a fully committed fight. If I fight Wukong now, then I'll outburst him in the first two seconds because of my BF sword and my you know, burst damage. Shit. There's a fight, Yasuo comes in. He tries to do something, I burn flash. Yasuo can't do very much here. And he got, you know, Q of the year right there. <laughs> that was absolutely awful. You can see me in the chat right there. Like, GG me, GG. I, I, I was so ashamed of that. If I hit that, because since he didn't put up wind wall, he would be dead on that tower. Or at very least, in such danger, he can't return to lane like this. Uh, um, you see, my friend, um, Akali here, is alive. Never mind, I thought they were going to die. <laughs> I have such little faith. Oh, they are going to die, never mind. Ice. Yeah, they fail. Uh, Evelyn tries to go in. Doesn't work out. Fizz dies for the kill, the suicidal Evan Jaeger there. Uh, Evelyn's 1-1, one, one. that's not that bad. Fierce is 2-1, the Yasuo is 1-0-2, Vayne 1 0 one. Most of our team are negative, or they have a death. You know, I'm the only person who's like fully positive, with, you know, not a 1-1. One one. I've got a positive death ratio. <laughs> positive kill death ratio. So uh, let's zoom back on me, though. See, I'm, um... Don't get too tempted to drag him under the tower. I could have probably, you know, tried really hard to land a hook and then flay him. Uh... Don't do that. Don't think, oh, I'm mad life. 
That's what happens when you TP against uh, Poppy Support guys. Anyway, what I was saying, you don't want to try too hard to land long distance talks. Don't say, oh, I can get that, I'm bad life. Because um, most of the time you can't. So I think this is pretty uh, bad of me. I went over to get a pink ward rather than fight here. Luckily, I still come down and I think I sweep up the vein. Yeah, I do sweep up the vein. Watch. Vein, she sees me coming and she's. For some reason, thinks she can take me, and I'm just like, no. So, um, Poppy, Poppy gets away because she's Poppy. Uh, Wu Kong is able to take a towel for this, and that's not too good. We're doing pretty bad in the early game. At least I'm two zero. Okay, uh, Poppy does get, Poppy does not get away. Three zero for me. So I don't really remember this game too well. Had some uh, late nights. It's a uh, pink ward there. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna leave the farm for Varus. He's coming up. At least I'm gonna leave most of the farm. I don't think I save a Carly here. No. We did get Fizz's flash though, so it's kind of okay. Well, no, it's not okay. We got 0 free Akali. Sure, you could have said I could have went up and land her and saved her. Probably could have. At the same time, Yasuo could have popped up and just kicked, you know, kicked my ass. I get the kill on Fizz. You see, I did the backwards flay. That gets the flay damage instantly off, so you can... You know, that's the key to busting with Fresh, is to auto-attack, then flay backwards. Because that's in your auto attack range. Um, if you flay towards someone, it will put you know when you push them away, it will take like half a second for the flay to reach them. If you flay backwards, then the flay begins at where they are, so it hits them instantly. I hope that made sense, but that is a massive tip for um, being able to deal damage really quickly with Fresh. Of course, don't do it if you don't want to bring the enemy towards you. Anyway, Wu Kong took my turret, so that's some gold for them. We don't have a dragon. In fact, the enemy are currently just about 1,300 gold over us. That's who gets greedy here. It just gets completely destroyed. Support Fiddle in the middle. That made no sense. Support Fiddle in the bottom lane. Uh, gets a kill. Now see, Varus did a nice case of overkill. He, um, he altered the Yasuo. And yes, well, sure, he could have flashed over the wall, maybe, but that's still a flash. But if Varus had his ult here, he could have killed their bot lane. He could have killed Vayne right now. Luckily, evidence over here to back them up, so Fizz shouldn't be able to do much. Nope, it's basically a poke. Now, I'm coming around because I see a massive fight starting. Wukong could TP, whatever. I just want to come in and make sure that everything goes well here. See, this is what I'm doing. I'm not staying top lane. I'm not going to be like, oh, he took my tower. I need to take his now. Um... I don't want to get too attached to that, I'm looking more at bottom tower than dragon. So I just come around, I've got a rapid fire cannon, okay? Vayne is going to just get destroyed, watch. Boom. One shot. Wukong comes in with the TP, and I want to be kind of ready. See, I flay him away so he can't reach Varus. Doesn't quite make it. We can't kill him in time. But at the very least, I've you know, kept him away from Varus, so Varus could get a few more auto attacks in that got a bit more damage in. I come in with a double kill. Truthfully, I would have donated it to Varus, but he kind of died, so there you go. What I was doing here is, I'm not just going to sit about in top lane and just stay there, you know, in my own world. That's what a lot of bronze players do, they just... Oh, sorry. <laughs> do we really need to go back and see that? It's just a Yasuo dying, it happens all the time. Um, anyway, I didn't want to sit here in top lane, doing what most people would do. They just kind of sit here, try to get this turret, and until they get this turret, they do not move. Heck, even after they get this turret, they'll probably go for this turret. They do not care about anyone else. So, you want to, once you get an advantage in this lane, you want to be going to other lanes, spreading your advantage, spreading your wealth as you go in to take enemies together. So, I got some kills on the vein. She's at still three kills, whereas Varus has three deaths. Um, so, the vein's still ahead. Anyway, we took Dragon earlier. So, they've got a tower, we've got a dragon. And we're ahead in the gold now. Because... Well, I guess it's because of me. <laughs> Getting all those kills. And the dragon really makes a difference. So, anyway. Up in the mid lane here, I come up here because I don't want Akali to die. And I don't want this turret to die either. If I just left it and Akali went recall, then... Oh, Fizz comes in with suicide. 
And where am I? I decided to go for Wukong. This was a massive mistake. I should have went back for Fizz, but I don't think I saw him. I think, if we go back... Yeah, you can see here, I didn't know it was Fizz. All I saw was Wukong. I'm tunnel visioning here. I see Fizz here. I had no idea he was going to go around. So I'm focused here. My problem. I do not notice this. Ah, oh, you get tempted towards this weak one, Wukong. I think I can kill him. I forget about the stealth. I get a little bit of damage off, but I'm not able to finish him off. And that was massive mistake. That's what I'm just trying to drill into your mind. That said, it's not the end of the game. This is not the moment where, like, if one of your team does this, or if you do it, you beat them up over it. You need to just move on. Uh, yeah, we're still in the lead. Well, we're not in the lead exactly. <laughs> not in gold anymore. They still got one turret over us. But it's not that bad. We can still make the effort to win the game, and we eventually will. Yeah, we've got a 0-4 Akali, a 0-4 Varus. It's not that bad. You can still carry. This isn't just for Fresh, this is for everyone. But for Fresh, it might be a bit easier. So I go here, Poppy tries to, like, do something. Now I see Vayne. I've got Rapid Fire Cannon. Boom. Vayne is fucking dead. That's what you gotta see as Rapid Fire Cannon Fresh. You just gotta see Squishies, and you just gotta, you know, right-click on them. It's like playing Master Yi on your ranged, and it's all in one hit. I think I tried to go for the gank here, but I think the Asphalt backs off. Yeah, he does, so I just recall my next item. You can see I had a giant spell, and now I'm working towards my Randuin's Omen. Why am I getting Randuins? Because the enemy team is mostly AD except Fizz. So I've got a slightly fed Vayne, a slightly fed Yasuo, you know, a Wukong, a Poppy. I want some armor. Sure, I get armor from Souls, but it's not enough when they've got this kind of AD. Well, um, Randuin's Omen will also reduce crit damage. Sorry, it will also reduce crit damage. Now help immensely against Yasuo. Vayne's probably got some crit later on. See, she's got a zeal there. Probably going into Phantom Dancer. I don't know what the fuck Vayne's build. Um, well, not anymore, anyway. Again, Carly's um, under her turret. She manages to redeem herself. She see, um, you could say that Evelyn saved uh, Akali's life, and you wouldn't be wrong. But Akali's uh, move there to take the Wukong whilst he was under turret and taking you know low health damage that was good because it also avoided the Yasuo. Lets Evelyn deal with the yeah um, sorry, it gets rid of the Wukong and lets Evelyn deal with the Yasuo. Fight to your last breath is what I'm trying to say. She's 0-4, still went for that game. That said, I have no idea what they're building. Mana, like a sapphire crystal one, uh, a Carly. <laughs> anyway, whatever. So at this point in the game, I've pushed it up. You know, it doesn't really do much to be fair. I think I'm trying to find a Gromp, which doesn't exist. So I just recall. I should be able to finish Randuins. I finish Randuins. Now I can fight so much more confidently against those AD carries. I look at the timer. Dragon was about to spawn, so I was trying to tell my team, yo, let's uh, get the crab or something. They get the crab, unfortunately. Twin Shadow spots it. But either way, everyone's congregating around everyone's congregating around this dragon because there's about a minute to go. But then when uh, mid seems a bit open, they try to get there. I miss the hook. You know, I tell you not to always try for long range hooks, but do try it in a situation like that. Just don't, you know, do it too often. It's much better to go for a surefire hook, you know, when you can do it, than go for a, a hook that might miss. <clears throat> Let me reiterate that, it probably made no sense. Don't go... If you have the option to take a safe hook, so you flay them first, roll their slowed, you get the hook, you get the 1.5 second stun, do that. However, if there's no other way to land the hook other than to, you know, do it from long range and hope for the best, trust your aim, then it's okay to do that so long as it's not going to, you know, it's not going to fail you. If the enemy Rengar is stealthed and your AD carry is, you know, scared, she doesn't have Guardian Angel, or he, you got Ezreal too, and Draven, then you might want to save your hook to deal with the stealth Rengar who might be coming up to your, your AD carry. That's for support, mid, top, fresh. It's just general fresh tips. Anyway, back to the game. Boom. Simple poke and just drop a laugh. Some CS uh, here, so Evelyn goes to clear that. I think it would be better if Varus take it, but Evelyn's doing pretty good now. She see, she's 6-3. 
That's not too bad. Uh, Evelyn was, you know, the other person who was not failing too hard. She made a lot of good plays happen. But you can still see one four Akali, one five Aris. You know, things aren't looking too good, but the main thing is we don't give up yet. I don't give up yet. I know that I've got my poke. I know that, you know, their threats, their, um, their squishy threats like Varus, <laughs> sorry, Vayne and Yasuo, I can take out with my own. See that? Wind wall does not block your auto attack as fresh. Whilst you are ranged for some, like, because it's not a projectile, it will go through the shield and it will hit Yasuo right like there. <coughs> So we're just uh, sitting here sieging this turret because we've got better pokes than they do. Their poke is like fizzes all. Oh, <laughs> come on, that's not much. Um, since I've got a rapid fire cannon and a BF sword, I can just poke them away. Yeah, dragons finally started to spawn, so we're trying to get around that. I do the terrible hook, but I'm able to, you know, all attack uh, fizz. We get him down. Really simple, like boom. That's a dragon. Poppy tries to do something funny, so I'm just like, hi, yes, we're. I think I am here. Yep. I decide I don't like Yasuo very much. You know, send him away. CC the poppy. We end up getting the poppy. I was hoping to get everyone else, but you know. You can't get everything. So with them down, after they got baited towards Dragon, that's an easy turret for us. <coughs> Whenever you get a kill, you want to get an objective. But another fight starting out here. Carly makes a mistake, it has a bad time. I tried to save her, but my lantern was too late. I apologize in the chat afterwards. I didn't notice. Um, we did get everyone else, but um, sorry. Let me drill a point. That was not. That was both of our faults. It was not one person. Sure, I missed the lantern, but Akali went in on a vein that she couldn't deal with. So that's also her fault. So anyway, I'm like, fuck this shit. I go top lane. I want that turret. I want that uh, global gold. I want to get the CS, the souls. Uh, I, I trust my team not to feed him. Uh, Fiddlesticks saves uh, Varus with the fear, but I believe he ends up dying. Sorry, his frame rate is going terrible. Yeah, he dies for Varus, basically. Maybe if he positioned a little better and didn't go around the turret, and if he didn't try to drain Vayne there, then he maybe could have survived. And my frames are going freaking crazy. I'm, I'd like not to stop the recording right now. Alright, we're just going to deal with it. See here? Vayne goes too close to me. Well, too close to us in general. Because of that, she's going to have a bad time. Boom, she's dead. Sorry about these frames. Holy hell. <laughs> Clearly some of the going on. Alright, I'm going to... Um, what's the time? It's uh, 22.40. I'm going to be back in a minute. i just got to restart this uh, LOL replay. Baron replays because it's freaking lagging like hell. Okay, we're back finally. Um, yeah, Vayne died. So I've just spent about two hours trying to get this back. I, first of all, I restarted. Then my mic stopped working. Then I tried some stuff. I restarted again. My entire sound card stopped working. And I had to clean up. I cleaned up a ton of dust. And then, then the mic still didn't work. And then reinstalled drivers. And now we're finally here. Uh, so I think we can continue now. All right, excellent. You know, it's only been like two seconds for you, and it's been two hours for me. Ah, oh, whatever. So anyway, here we are. In the previous fight, all that happened was that Vayne died, by the way. Nothing happened besides that. So... Uh, we got Evelyn pushing Bart. She's getting that tower over there. Um, Fiddlesticks looks like he's going around. He sees the pink ward. We're all going to clear that out. No, no, no. I see the lesbian fish, and then I want to see... 50% HP. One auto attack. That's the power of a rapid fire cannon. I don't even have anything else other than BF sword and the cult for like damage. I don't have attack damage per level marks. I don't have any of that shit. All I've got is a BF sword. Now look at me. Look at me. Look at my level. I'm f level 13. And holy shit, the lag's starting again. Level 13 versus Fizz level 11. Okay, lag's not here today. Excellent. Um, so we seem to be. Uh, yeah, I'm two levels above them, so I've got. I've got those base stats. That's what you get for farming properly. That's what you get for uh, carrier. So let's go see that again. Okay, now Vayne's farming here. Uh, Varus. Yeah, Varus goes in first. Now, this is a Varus who used to be freaking getting wrecked by this Vayne, okay? 
Um, currently, he's two levels below. He's 3-5, she's 8-4. Let's see what happens. So, Varus just, you know, he ain't taking any fucking prisoners. He lands the ult. Vayne can't tumble for shit. He knows that he can do something here. He knows he can outburst her. He knows he's got Essence Weaver. And all she's got for these Blade Room too. Now, Lesbian Fish, I think... Again, the Lesbian Fish, the, um... The Undyne comes up over here, greedy for that Varus. And let's see what happens here. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. No, he just comes out for some reason. Gets, you know, hooked by me. Now here we see Akali's in a fight. Simple tactic, she's in stealth. Click the lantern, boom. She's safe. Now I've warded up here. Well, all of us warded up here. They take all that because of Poppy Sweeper. We're pushing up top, Varus pushing up. But, you know, Yasuo can't fuck with me. I just deal that much freaking damage. At the very least, I can give the illusion of that. Because I'm much more burst and sustained right now. How many souls I got? I have got 94 souls. Okay, that is a decent DPS. None of them want to fuck with me right now. So we just demanded a couple of towers. We demanded Vayne's uh, life there. Overall, the game's going pretty damn good. So, Akali used to be 0 5, now she's 4 5. Uh, Varus used to be 0 5, now he's 4 5. Okay, I'm not sh quite sure about the accuracy of the slash 5 there, but you know. Um, Evelyn's still positive. I'm still 8 0. <laughs> you know, I'm still doing really good. And uh, Support Field 6, you know, he's not really doing that bad. And uh, don't complain if you get like a, you know, a support Lux, a support Fiddlestick, support Annie or whatever, you know, when you're playing top fresh, because you got the utility of a normal tank support. So, uh. An awesome attack trades with an ultimate. And you can see how ridiculous this item is. That's not ridiculous, it's not overpowering. It's just really freaking strong. So, uh, once again, we're pushing it down this lane. Because I can just poke them whenever I want. I want to poke that last one. I think. No, 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 no. We got a uh, rain over here. I land turn, save the uh, fatal sticks there. I just hooked the freaking vein. Because for some reason, she thinks she goes to and shit. You know, Poppy falls. Varus is going over to demand that dude. I try to save it all. I don't think I'm in time. Nope. So just land the shield on me and Evelyn. Um, Varus kills the Yasuo up there. I land that hook. Because you see he's curving around, so I aim, you know, towards the end of the bush. Land that hook on the Wukong. Now, if you uh, struggle landing fresh hooks, then you're going to have to practice them. Always go for safe hooks first. Always try to land the slow, you know, from your play or whatever first. Before you try to land the uh, hook. That said, you know, when you can do those long distance hooks, you know, without having a penalty, then just try it, because you need to get good at them somehow. Anyway, for some fucking reason, I tried to chase a Fizz, despite not having the movement speed to do so. Luckily, their team can't punch me, because they're all freaking dead. Uh, we take the turret. We think about the inhibitor, but I tell us to back off, because we can't deal with it. Um, I just tried to use a hook to uh, make Vayne screw off there. Now, Varus, he tries to go back in. I'm not sure if this does anything. I'll send over the lantern, it's all good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we get away scot free whilst we also get dragon from Evelyn and Fiddlesticks. They go in, they initiate on our support Fiddlesticks, that doesn't do shit all. Vayne gets shot on by my freaking rapid fire family. Now, I would give chase to it, but now watch this. Hang on, I'm going to turn the chat on. Chat's on right there, you can see it. Because you're going to see the most salty vein you've ever seen in your entire life. Now, Fizz is on his way here. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let's go back a second. And let's change it to my fog of war. Okay, let's see the fight again. Blah, blah, blah. Now, Vayne comes in. Boom. Thunderlords gets hit. She, she, you know, she pisses off that way. Now, I, I know... That Vayne thinks, I'm outnumbered, I'm on my own, they've got Poppy here, Fizz here, and she's over here somewhere. So she's going to try to come in for that greedy ass assist because she's greedy as fuck. You can see it, she's got six deaths. That's all because of her greed. If she wasn't greedy, then she'd just be farming away, taking safe kills, and she wouldn't have died that damn much. You know, maybe once, twice, but not freaking six times, Jesus. Alright, so, what happens here... 
You can see, I don't want to grab Fizz. I grab the vein. I know she's low. So I can just take her out just like that. Get her with the flay. I hoped that would kill her because that would be instant. You can cast flay during Q. It doesn't work. I had to land the auto attack. Good enough for me. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I die here because I can't, you know, I can't 1v freaking 2. Boom, I'm dead. But let's check that chat out. She's not joking. I am getting reported for cheating. This is what happens when you main um, fresh, man. When you main fresh chop for your, like, your whole life. You know. People just assume you're cheating when you do good. Alright, salt aside. I'm dead. That's first death of the game. 9 1 12. That's not bad. Sure, I gave shutdown to fears or whatever, but that doesn't matter because we're so freaking far ahead. We've got the fresh. I'm gonna. like That's just freaking salt now, so let's get rid of that chat. Alright. Yeah, I'm dead. Right, so, um, we did open the gates, but then we had to back off, so we can... <laughs> Please don't kill me, I just accidentally quoted Trick, that's my bad, I need to use myself. We killed the, uh, neck <laughs> inhibitor turret here, so we can get that whenever we want. Yasuo's being really freaking stupid, once again. Okay, he gets away this time because he's got the relic here. <laughs> in all honesty, he deserves to die at that moment. I think I'm still in chat talking with those guys. I really shouldn't be. There we go, I'll start moving again. The fight seems to be going on. Okay. Fizz goes in thinking he's a tank and shit. You know, ITP. Uh, boom, I land the box. Four pop, he's able to ult. That gets a slow on Vayne, I think. Yeah, it does. I land the hook on Wukong. I know he's going to stealth away. Oh, no, it was a freaking decoy. My bad, I suck. Yasuo goes in like a dumbass dies. Now we can just push forward. Varus, he's got nothing to fear. I've got Flay. I've got a death sentence. He doesn't need to be scared. I've got a lantern to save his ass. And I land so much freaking burst that I burst them and then he just, you know, finishes them off. Boom, just take out the inhibitor just like that. Bam. Now that we've got the inhibitor, we can uh, push for the bot to it. I think that's what we do. Yes, I do believe it is. Fizz is giving chase. Doesn't really mean much. We just take this turret right here. I'm not sure if Fizz goes in. He gets feared, and then boom, I just hit him with that, and he's scared. Now I la uh, throw the uh, lantern over to Wakali. She doesn't pick it up. She doesn't see it. A bit of a shame. Varus is way too far forward in the door with the thingy, and I've got no choice but to just back off right here. My lanterns are cooldown. I can't save anyone. If I went in with them, because Evelyn's not here with us, and, you know, we've been over saying, we'd just die. So, um, even if your team is committed to a team fight, if you don't think it's going to be a good team fight, if you don't think that, you know, there's a higher chance of failure, then just leave it. Freaking frame rate's dropping again, guys. Oh, God. Let's hope it clears up. For anyone who didn't see that, because of the stamp frame rate, Yasuo went in on the turret, died, Poppy also followed, died, because Fresh and Evelyn are really powerful, and Fresh can keep you under the turret for quite a while. Okay, the frames are back. I don't know why it keeps um, lagging like that. Maybe I'll do a virus scan or something. <laughs> Too much lol hentai. Um, okay. Now the rest of the game is really just, you know, meeting in mid occasionally, team fight, win it, because Fresh is really strong. Fizz overextends, he does get the Varus, and then he tries to 1v1 Evelyn, doesn't work out. And I hate KS, but... Bam. It's tempting sometimes. I think Evelyn was okay with it, I did apologise. So, there's their team here. I just go in, because they're squishy. Now, this is a mistake. I went straight up to the wall. I still, at this point in the game, did not know Vayne was so freaking fed. I did not know she had 10 kills.
Okay, but you can see what went down. I just died because I didn't respect Vayne's damage. I didn't respect the Condemn. That was really freaking stupid of me. I think we still win the fight. I'm not entirely sure. No, we do not, of course. All that happens is a bunch of zonias that go on. Akali goes back in. Really big mistake. She's just going to die. And we all died. We fought without Varus. That was another bad thing because Varus was dead. But um, we're going to see the MVP Varus. This was a guy who was 0 5 or zero three. 3. I don't really know. But now he's 8 8. He's going to show you what a hero he's become. Right, Vayne, cocky git. She goes in. She gets three procs. You think. Boom, she's dead. Nope, she takes a tower hit like a dumbass. Dies. Cocky goes in. She thinks that she can do something here. But you see, that he's not going to let them take the turret. He just shoots the shit out of uh, Yasuo. Who <laughs> just takes tower damage like a dumbass. <laughs> and then they both die. That wasn't Varus being... Well, Varus was really skillful, really brave to go 1v3. But really, it's just these three being complete and not a freaking... <laughs> freaking idiots, man. You can get them on either side of your team. I'm glad it was on their team. So, uh, TP, I didn't actually know about this. Uh, Fizz comes in. Now, I didn't see the Fizz, so I went straight to the dragon, and I, uh... I fucked up here. <laughs> There's a lot of fuck-ups in this here late game. I'm getting a bit too carried away. I apologise to Varus pretty much immediately, and boom, he's dead. Revenge. I follow this clone, boom. That's a dead weapon. So that gives us opportunity to get a dragon if no one and then put a down. We take their stuff, we um, push up. Pretty much nothing goes on here. But I do want to push up. So, well, I hope I want to push up. I do really. Okay, okay, there's a fight situation here. Now, Evelyn's back. Uh, Varus is bot, so we don't actually want to go in. Now, Varus is still pushing, so people are going to come his way. And you can see it, they are. Vayne's going that way. So, I start coming around. We all start coming around. We want to assist uh, Varus. Varus, the Condemn, the Condemn, tried to go into the wall but failed, missed it slightly. Only two of them went after Varus, so we can just chase after. Unfortunately, Varus goes down, but boom, dead to our fed assassins. We can't try and shit. Can't do much. Best hook of the year. And then I cut, and somehow I steal that for keeping the kill with a rapid fire cannon coming up. We decide to, um. die? Oh no, Akali decides to die. Um, and then I just you know, wreck the rest of them. I, do, I burst down Yasuo. Poppy can't do shit with all the CC. Fizz jumps back in like a complete dumbass. I dropped the box because I knew he'd do that. Now it's just three Zonias and me. I think I missed the hook here. Yeah, I do. I missed the hook, but we still get the kill because, come on. Those being fish can't do very much yet. So we push up this, opening up another turret, opening up another inhibitor. We just take that. No fear. Vayne was small. I don't know. Flying fox. She's too greedy. She goes after everyone. Now I think I've realised I can't just 1v1 her so easily. I probably could. I don't know. I don't have the box anymore, so I can't. Now I'm scared of the Condemn. I get the Condemn. I'm pretty sure I go down, actually. Yeah, I go down. I failed to click her there. It would have taken two water attacks, so nah, I was dead. My mistake. Staying way too long. Okay, so I'm back once again after another massive crash. Had to sort out so much stuff. And a lot of the files I just recorded just got lost, so I'm going to have to record it again from here. Um, okay, so here we are again. Uh, this is the part where Vayne B is a little stupid. She uses her ult really preemptively, gets raped by our two assassins. Just There's no other way to describe it, really. She did not want that. 
Yes, we're decided to 1v3. I TP in because I think there's a fight coming. Um, completely fair against the poppy, but it's just a poppy. Fizz shamefully misses his ult. You know, he thinks I'm going in, then he doesn't. Now, they start to chase, but I start to ping them away and say, hey, let's get this inhibitor instead. Uh, unfortunately, they just kind of stand there. Varus comes with me, though, so we're still pushing. We're still pushing. It's all good. So me and Varus are able to take this uh, inhibitor here. They can't really stop me. Wukong's trying to help Fierce for some reason. Fierce is recalling. Nothing actually happened there. There's the inhibitor down. Now, if Fierce tries to do anything here, then he's just going to get, you know, whips to death. Now watch this rapid fire cannon park his back up and boom. Bit of damage on the Fizz. Varus misses his ult. Doesn't matter that much, we're winning pretty hard right now. Uh, he tries to they try to kill Varus here, but not with me around. I see Akali coming up, so I just hook in the vein, flare towards him, boom, we just out damage him. Yasuo's way too squishy to deal with me. And then we just sweep up this the rest of the team here. Boom. Uh, you can pretty much assume that we're going to win the game now. And if you assume that, then you'd be right, because we win right now. There we go, GG. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for putting up with all the editing difficulty. And I hope you don't judge Fresh Tarp or Fresh Mirror too hard when you next see it. Be sure to give it a try. And if you are interested in any of my builds, please check out my channel for tutorials on weird builds like this. And AD Cassidy, Tank Lissandra. Do any of them work? I don't know. You tell me. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, see you later.